So good evening, country people. TIs in the UK, around the world. UN establishment. Yeah, UK intelligence services and the West Midlands Police Force. Seeing I sent an email yeah, to West Midlands Police Force, Lloyd House, exposing Coventry CID. Coventry Police, the Coventry CID ain't got leg to stand on. Yeah, and the broken Coventry Police officers. Yeah, and whoever's doing something, whoever they're conspiring with. Yeah, to stalk me, my mother and my brother. Their whole gang. Yeah, bunch of fucking numpties. Degenerates. Yeah, broken to the core. Yeah, broken from the seniors to the instructors, to the trainers, to the retired police officers, to the retired science at Centre Docs Association. Yeah, broken mental health administrators, inexperienced ones, experienced ones, like Zena Logan, yeah, who sacrificed her life in Coventry, yeah, to hide away from the, from the local people and to try and elevate herself, yeah, to, to, to try and, and give her a new identity to make out she's a professor, a scientist in the mental health world, yeah? So that's why she wants to get a qualification and disappear at Coventry, yeah, and go and work in America or Canada or Europe somewhere or in London, yeah? That a Tavistock Institute. Yeah, but yeah, that's why I'm exposing their gang. Yeah, they've gotten away with it for decades and generations. Misdiagnosing people, stitching and framing, framing black people up. Yeah, and uh, even f and then having a choice of whether to throw them into prison, depending on what kind of stitch up they're going for, whether a criminal stitch up. Yeah, whether trying to label black people as drug takers, as drug dealers. Yeah, and loose cannons. Yeah. When I've done nothing of the sort, never been pulled over by Coventry Police, yeah, never had my car stopped by the Coventry CID, and where I've been today, to Ball Hill, then to Wyking, and back on the bus, yeah, it's a nice day, got some fresh air this afternoon, yeah, the clever operators stalked me all the way, so this is what we do, we just go around getting, getting all day long, yeah, getting obsessed, yeah, yeah, in capturing people, yeah. Yeah, that's all they do, 24 hours a day. They use local people. Yeah, the Nathan Cranes, the Ashley Map, the Michael Horrors, the Tasha Griffins. That's why everyone linked to Patrick Coburn is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, they're surrounding me, my mother and my brother. Yeah, and just capturing for the hell of it and then passing it on to the CID and to mental health administrators to edit it all. Yeah, and see what kind of profile they can have. Yeah, whether they can have a criminal profile, yeah, or a mental health profile. Yeah, so that's what's going on. Yeah, and then they'll try and stitch a friendly up. Yeah. Think they can put me into prison, they ain't got cats in the house chance. But if they do, TIs, the UN establishment, West Midlands Police Force, yeah, yeah, break the CID. Yeah, they mentioned Chris Marsden today. Yeah, DCR Chris Marsden, yeah, from Stony Staten Police Station. Yeah, don't know him, yeah, but I've got memory, yeah, and if you heard him once, yeah, 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 and the police station he works in, we have a little Park Street or Stony Staten Road. Yeah, Chris Marsden is incriminated with his broken Simon Tilly. Broken with Leslie Moore, Sergeant Horton, Sergeant Kirby, and the broken CRD gang linked to Fat Tarby from the court case of 2004 and all the assets she was stripped of them. Yeah, because, yeah, the court case of 2004. So conflict of interest with the CRD in what they're desperate to stitch me. Yeah, my mother and my brother up because the court case didn't go their way in 2004. Yeah, that's how broken the CRD are. Yeah, that's how you can see straight from all. Yeah, and so, broken DCR Tarby. Yeah, wherever he is in retirement. Yeah, kick him out of Wales. Kick him out of Miss Hoban's home, where, they, where he's hiding. Yeah, because someone, someone mentioned the grapevine in the covert operation grapevine at DCR Tarby. He's snuggling up with Miss Hoban. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, so that, that's where we all are. I don't mind standing up against DCR Tarby and his CRD gang. Yeah, yeah, because I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, got no, they've done no criminal, criminal activity. Yeah, for them to interview me over nothing. Yeah, but I want to interrogate them. Yeah, what they know about COVID-G, what they know about areology, what they know about thermology, infrared, ultrasound, see for all technologies. Yeah, and what they know about sonar radar, sound recording devices. Yeah, and sound recording people. Yeah, because this is the Coventry CID. Yeah, so they must have a bit of an inkling about it all. Yeah, and what we know about audiology, what we know about facial expressions, what we know about human, human body language. Yeah, what we know about the tone of the voice. Yeah, and what it means to them. Yeah, what the name about the looks of someone's face, someone's facial features, expressions, and what it means to them. Yeah, I want to interrogate this one's our Centre Doctors Association. Yeah, the broken psychiatrists and the broken mental health administrators. Yeah, and interrogate all of them in their departments, in their organisations, and find out why they are so obsessed in the tone of my voice, my mother's voice, or my brother's voice, yeah? In the way our facial expressions are, in the way our body language is every day, yeah? And how we, how we do our activities every day. We soon find out what we know about sociology, human behavioural science, find out what we know about surveillance monitoring, yeah? What's legal and what's illegal, yeah? What's criminal practising, what's consented, yeah? That's how to interrogate these sector workers, these social workers, and the broken CID. Yeah, they're not 
super intelligent. Yeah, because if they were rich, they wouldn't be in Coventry. They wouldn't be doing gang stalking surveillance. Yeah, they'd be living a life of Riley, retired, enjoying the finer things of life. Yeah, sitting on a nice beach somewhere. Yeah, that's what being a millionaire is. Yeah, being rich is. Yeah, these idiots in Coventry ain't got a pot to pit, a pot to pit in. Yeah, a pot, a, a pot to piss in. Yeah, they're skint CID, skint locals. Yeah, skint juniors, skint. Yeah, Patrick Coburn's gang. Yeah, they're all skint. They're all a bunch of trumps. Yeah, and I'm not rich. Yeah. And they're trying to stop me from earning money. Yeah? So what else does that say about them? Yeah? They're not caustic. Yeah? They're racist. And they're out for revenge. Yeah? So everyone who knows Nathan Crane, find that way he is. And bring him to me so I can interrogate him. Yeah? Where's Ashley Mapp? Where's Mark O'Hara? Where's Tasha Griffin? Where's Matthew Lee? Scott Lee? Martin Lee? John Briscoe? So we can get them all together with the CRD. And the Swansea Centre Doctors Association psychiatrists. The mental health administrators. The social workers. The firemen. And anyone else that ain't betting on can swarm with them on overt and coverage and all the statements of the neighbours, yeah, in any area I've been, yeah, of co workers and the phone callers, and let's interrogate them all, yeah, let's bring the whole gang in, yeah, let's interrogate them, interrogate all of them, one after the other, yeah, and we all be dropping off flies, yeah, because they've been exposed, yeah. So, Sarka continues, everyone, everybody, have a good evening, digest it all. So I can analyse it all, yeah? And everyone, yeah, let's round up the CID. Yeah, because if it ain't the CID, yeah, come to your police who are stuck on coverage. Yeah, whoever it is has to be arrested and they're never going to live it down. They're going to be thrown in prison. Yeah, rotting away. And I hope it's sector workers. I hope it's Zena. hope it's Tony Chapman. I hope it's Ryan Lewis. I hope it's Lyndon Logan. I hope it's Zena's father. I hope it's the local fraudsters. I hope it's local doormen. Yeah? Just took the law into own hands, yeah? And that's why the UN and intelligence service in the UK has to arrest anyone, yeah? Linked to who I've just mentioned, yeah? Because they've got no authority or hardcore warrants to do it last week, the week before, the week before that, and this week. Yeah, that's a month, yeah? They don't have hardcore warrants, yeah? Or, yeah, or authority to sit on coverage watching the pension of 72 is doing their crime. Yeah, that's why I'm naming their gang, because I'm going to imprison every CRD motherfucker, every country police fucker, every sector worker, every motherfucker who has perved on my mother. Yeah, yeah, that's how, yeah, that's how disgusting it is. It's how rough we're going to be. Yeah, we want everyone imprisoned. Yeah, who's looked on my mother? Yeah, with disgusting eyes. Yeah, with targeting eyes. Yeah, yeah with, with intent. Yeah, to try and put her into a care home. Yeah, I want the social workers imprisoned, the mental health workers imprisoned, the Swazi Centre doctors psychiatrists imprisoned, and all the NHS people, health care workers, yeah, and local people imprisoned. Yeah, every cut down village street, yeah, yeah, is participated in any capacity. I want them imprisoned. Yeah, every cunt, yeah, linked to Stoke Park, yeah, Carden Wiseman, Cabin Castle School, to Wykin, to Warsgrave, to Stoke Ardenmore, yeah, to Stoke Keith. Yeah, yeah, what was that about my mother? I want it read out in a court of law. Yeah, and I want all these cunts in prisons. Excuse my language, YouTube. Yeah, but in the day, if someone did this to your mother, to your family, and you know it's Coventry Police, yeah, and then while well, you go about your business and they're trying to wind you up over it, yeah, what, yeah what, what can you do? You can't do nothing, yeah? You can't go and catch cover operators, yeah? Because they're making sure they're hiding out of the way. Because they're cowards, they lose cannons. They know what they're doing is wrong, yeah? So that's why they're keeping out of the way. Otherwise, people would catch them. There and then, yeah? They'd have kept the living dead on side of them, yeah? So that's why YouTube, yeah? I'm, free, I'm putting these on social media, putting it on YouTube. So the YouTube management, yeah? You can so can analyse it all, yeah? Can digest it all, yeah? And realise, yeah, what cover, op what, what cover operators are doing in Coventry City, West Midlands, UK, yeah? And doing that to you, to you to your daughter, to your sister, or to your mother, yeah? They have to pay the penalty, yeah? Because it's the worst crime in the world. And police officers, yeah? Or criminals ain't going to tolerate it, yeah? So that's why the, all their names have to be spread all over the world, yeah? And flush them out of the city, yeah? And make sure, yeah, these abusers who've done this in Coventry cannot go to another city or to another country ever again. Yeah, that includes the juniors. Make sure Tony Chapman does not, uh, not get out of the UK to go and work anywhere in the world. Yeah, in America, Australia, yeah, or Canada, or Europe. Same with Tony Chapman, same with Matthew Lee, same with Zina Logan, same with Marvin Davis, Steve Blaney's, Simon Tilly's. Yeah, 
and the Andy says, yeah, the Gerrards, and the Swans are centre doctor psychiatrist. Yeah, we've got to make sure they get qualified. Yeah, and they don't carry on abusing people. Yeah, just for the hell of it, thinking they've got authority because they're ending the better with commentary police officers and ending the better with armed forces people, commentary council workers. Yeah, linked to Miss Hoban. Yeah, you can't have these people running around abusing people. Yeah, with all the modern. Te- technical, sophisticated equipment they are carrying around in their sports billy bag. Yeah, you can't have people doing oriology. You can't have people taking facial expressions for hitting case studies for research. You can't have people doing human bo- human language studies using antlon equipment for the sectors. Yeah, you can't have people, yeah, from NHS, England, going out in our communities, washing people's genitals, watching people go to the toilet, watching how people's stools come out, come out of the bottoms, yeah, and uh, how they live. Yeah, you can't have that, yeah, without them being, yeah, reprimanded and thrown in prison, yeah, or the rules mafia, grinding them up, like the lynch mob, and making sure they get destroyed, yeah, they are dregs of society for the people who have stooped so low to do that in Coventry City, to that to, that to my mother, to myself, and to my brother, and the Coventry police, and the Hoban family, I'm never going to live it down, yeah, it's gone in Coventry folklore, it's gone in UK history, yeah, that's people who have to be arrested, yeah, who've done atrocious crimes against humanity, yeah? The whole gang has to be rounded up and no one respect them in Coventry Police. No one respect them in the Coventry NHS England, in the Euro- Urology Department, in the Maternity Ward, in the Genitals Department, the GU Clinic, and no one respect them in the Dorman Association, yeah? The Coventry Police, the Coventry Firemen, and the wannabe researchers linked to Zena Logan, Lyndon Logan, Dave Leverage, yeah, and their Finnish fanatics linked to Billy, Billy Morrison. You can't have these people doing human biology on people, yeah, on black people, and expecting to get away with it. Yeah, and especially on pensioners. Yeah, that's why I'm naming them all. Yeah, making sure they get flushed out of the city. Everyone out.